What's up, everybody? Gridbot Guru here. Going to talk to you tonight a little bit about a couple different things. Um, the first thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is um, test flight. So a lot of you are on Telegram, on Discord, trying to get the new and improved edition of Pinex, the app. And so what I want to do is highlight a, a way to get that that is not through necessarily the traditional way through the App Store. So what I want you, if you are interested in this, um, this video is for you. Um, and I'm going to end up giving you guys um, a little preview of what you can do if you are on this. If you are not on this and you're on Google Play, I think the option is there as well. And I'll talk really quickly about that. Um, however, I'm gonna give you guys the how to get to Test Flight, how to download Test Flight, um, how to get to Pinex on Test Flight, and I'm also gonna give you guys an update on Bitcoin. So um, let's go ahead and let's begin. First off, if you are not part of Pinex, click the link below, send me a DM, send me an, a message and say, hey, I used your referral link, what's next? Um, I've been helping people left and right just get started with as little as um, five, ten dollars USDT um, and they, they are starting to run their bot and they're being profitable, okay? Um, now with ten dollars, you're not gonna make your millions. However, you could very easily start making one, two, three, five, ten percent, and then flip it into another bot, okay? The reason I'm saying this is because on test flight, you can actually look me up. So if you're on the test flight Pinex, it may be available on um, the updated Pinex as well. Um, you can go over up to the top actually where the little hour uh, the little magnifying search magnifying glasses search search glass search bar click on a search bar and you can actually type in grid bot guru and down a little bit down here you can actually click on my name and when you do it's going to end up bringing up kind of like almost like a a a social media type page when you do that, it is going to show you all of the ideas I have been posting. Um, I have been posting different ideas. A lot of times I will post a bot and um, I will tell you why I like this setup. I will tell you and I'm, I'm going to give you the bot that I'm posting, I'm going to give you the low, I'm going to give you the high, and it actually ends up, let me see, I want to make sure that it actually, it says, it does not tell you how much I have invested, um, but it does tell you that, hey, I've invested in it. Um, and I usually do a take profit at the very top of that bot. So if you see a bot and it says, Oh, um, you know, he's doing, let me look at what the last one was. Um, so it's a MXC USDT and you copy it and it looks like the, the upper limit for that bot is 0 0.055. That's my take profit. So I create the bot and then I go back in and modify it to close the bot at the take or at the top of the grid so that's with test flight now those of you who are like well what is test flight i'm gonna explain it to you test flight is for ios from my understanding and it basically goes and it lets users test a beta version of an app Google Play, from my understanding, you can kind of opt in to be able to do that. I've seen a couple people with screenshots and it says like test beta or something like that on their Google Play store. With 
uh, iOS, since iOS is so locked down, the App Store is so locked down, um, you have an option to do a test flight. So that is going to be, if you, that is something that you are interested in, I'm going to end up kind of showing you how to do that. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your App Store and you're going to search for test flight and you're going to end up having, it's going to be a blue icon and it kind of has the, uh, the propeller of a, like an airplane, um, as its logo. So you're going to end up searching. You're going to see this icon. Okay. When you download it and you download that icon, you're then going to go to our Pinex website and I'm going to post it down below as well. Um, but it's, you're going to go to the Pinex website. It's going to say download. And when you do download it, it's going to actually download a completely new Pinex. And so like right now I have two of them in my test flight. I have one that says trading bots, Pinex trading bots. And I have another one that says Pinex crypto trading. Um, they are both the exact same version. So right now I am for Pinex, I am running 2.0.1 version. Okay. So that's going to be um, my tip for you. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And I post my thoughts on there a lot of times, which is going to bring me to what I think Bitcoin is going to be doing. So on Friday, I posted about Bitcoin and I thought or and I explained my thought, my idea behind it, which is going to bring us to this page. So basically, long story short, I said that, um, you know, looking at the daily, looking at the four hour. So let's let's jump down to the four hour as well. Um, I am seeing. I'm seeing a lot. Uh, I'm seeing that this this purple box is a big area and I've kind of highlighted those with the, the red circles here. So these red circles. I've kind of highlighted that and this purple box me personally I also see it on the daily and I you if you guys have been following and listening to what I'm saying I like to trade the daily because it's it's less noise there are some areas here that are um, kind of resistance like areas or support like areas and what I mean by that is you're seeing that this comes down it hits here. Let me let me get to where you guys can see what I'm talking about. So it's coming up here, comes down, it hits here. Again, this 44, 45 area is going to be where people were wanting to buy in. So it comes back up here. People have a little hiccup. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. It goes down one, looks like it goes down two days. So it kind of has, has an up day, down, up, down. And then it keeps going up and it just rockets and we go to another um, at that point it's probably an all-time high of, of around 61 again comes back down you see how this comes down to this area though this area if we zoom in you can see we actually wick down and get pushed back up and we go back up to another all-time high of about 65 and then come back down we hit this again, we hit this area, go up again, hit this area. We slow down on this area. So we come down, we go up and then the bottom falls back out. So we go all the way down. Um, there was a lot of news in this area. So uh, that is one of those where it's still, it's part of the chart. You have to read it as part of the chart because people who are new, are not knowing what's going on there. They're looking at it like we are and saying, oh, people are kind of indecisive here. Huh. But they don't know the fact that, you know, in this time period that was, there was a lot of talks of China banning crypto about, uh, or mining, not necessarily banning crypto. And I'm not sure the whole um, legal standpoint on that. Um, I know that this day right here, 
okay, May, was it May 19th? Yeah, May 19th. That was that real huge fall. Um, I think all the exchanges basically crashed because there were so many orders. Just, it was, it was insane. Anyway, you still have to read the chart. So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing some hesitation here and we come up. I'm seeing hesitation here and we still go up. We bounce actually. And I'm seeing hesitation here and we did break through. What that tells me is personally, that I'm looking at that going, okay, this is going to be an area that people are going to either do two things. One, they're going to um, take profit at because, oh, we're down below and we're coming up here. Or two, this is going to be an area that people wait to see if we kind of break it. And if we break it, my thinking is we're going to keep going up. I feel like we'll hit um, around 60, 60, no, no, sorry, not 60, around 53 area. If we can fully break through this area of resistance, um, we've been doing a really, really good job. We've been hitting it hard. Um, I think in my post, I highlighted that there are, there's a lot of buzz right now around Bitcoin. You know, we went all the way down, down here. We hit 28, I think possibly maybe not 28 exactly, but 28, six, 28, five, somewhere around there. And we have been on an absolute run ever since. Now, here's the other thing about this. And let me see if I can get this. All right. I'm going to do info. So if I go here and I go to the lowest low, and I do that, we went, um, we did 44% in 10 days, okay? That's good. So if I do it again, though, that means we have a pullback of negative 13% in five days, okay? So I want you to think about that. So let's look at this. And this is all different ways to just think about it psychologically look at it so this first line was 10 days and we went up what was it 40 percent i think so now we go up and come up here and now we do five days at 25 percent okay all right so i'm gonna pull that off to the side and then we come down we do three days at negative 5%. And then we come up and you're starting, I'm hoping you guys are starting to see, we do two days at 10%. But watch this, 10% and then we come back down. We do six days at around, around 9%, negative 9%. So here's the thing. It looks to me like it's starting to slow down. However, again, we are at one of those areas where people are going, they're either sitting there going, I'm taking my profits and I'm running, I'm waiting for another pullback. Or they're going, I'm going to sit this one out and I'm going to see if we break 50K, I'm going to put my uh, buy order at 50,000 and one cent, you know, something like that, where they're, they have it set up because they know that this is an area. But I also feel like this area is pretty strong based on what's going on back here. Okay. If we flip our candles, so I know some people end up like looking at HA candles, you're going to start seeing we got a little pullback, a run, a little pullback, and then we have this run. What we want is we want that run to go up through this purple area. Okay. So again, if you guys are not on Pinex, sign up below that. These are my thoughts. I personally think we will get past 50 K. I think we'll hit up around 52 um, and then have a pullback just because I think there's a lot of excitement around uh, crypto right now. I think there's a lot of possibilities for um, profit. And I think that a lot of people know that. I think that 
with other companies starting to jump in on board other countries jumping on board and accepting crypto as payments i think that's just going to continue pushing the price upward and giving it that upward momentum to break through this 50k area of resistance and with well not if when we do personally i think that 50k area of resistance will be a very strong area and i would look at that as a very good supporting area so what i'm with all of this this is all a personal opinion don't go in and just be like okay i'm gonna sell everything and i'm gonna buy bitcoin right now because it's got to go up no it, it it may very well drop back down to 28. do i see it happening mm, i personally don't see that happening i think that if we're going to drop down i think we're going to end up going down to the 40,000 area before we go and hanging out there for a long while before we ever drop back back down to 28k but it's always a possibility okay again I hope everybody stays green. One rule of thumb I want everybody to keep in their back pocket is don't invest in crypto with money you can't afford to lose. All right. So if you can't, if you are sitting there and you're thinking, you know, I'm going to pay my next car payment with crypto, don't do that. That's just my personal thoughts. Don't do that because you could end up, say you had 40,000 and you're like, you know what? I'm going to buy this Bitcoin for, we'll say you have 48,000. I'm going to buy a Bitcoin at 48,000. It could very well drop down to 28 and you have to sit on that for a while. So like right here, look, just to give you guys a, an idea. Um, so we'll say 40,100. So right here. Okay. You know, that's, that's nine days right there. But if we're looking at it and we're, you could see like, hey, if I got it there, was that, that's 43 days so far. It's 43 days. And that's not even at that point. If you didn't see this crash coming, look at where you're at. Around a hundred days. Okay. So don't don't do anything crazy okay so as always i hope everybody this week upcoming week i hope you guys all end up having a great 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 week trading and i hope you all stay green look at the click the link below to get on uh test flight get on pinex test flight and go ahead and have some great trades see you later